The materials that you'll need for the calibration of a volumetric burette include a 125 milliliter plastic bottle, Kim wipes, a waste beaker, a stand with burette clamps, a volumetric burette, and deionized water in a spray bottle. With your waste beaker under your burette, rinse your burette with deionized water. Wipe the outside of your burette with a Kim wipe. Drain your burette into your waste beaker. Once your burette has drained completely, wipe the outside of it with a Kim wipe. Inspect your burette to make sure that there are no water droplets that have collected on the inside of it. If you see any water droplets on the inside of your burette, this would indicate that it is not clean. If your burette is not clean, contact your instructor. If your burette is clean, you should see no water droplets on the inside of it. Only continue with the calibration once you're sure your burette is clean. With your burette clamped in place, fill your burette with deionized water past the zero mark. Open the valve to release any air that may have collected in the tip of the burette and lower the water level down to the zero mark. Ensure that the bottom of the meniscus lines up with the zero mark. Weigh your 125 milliliter plastic bottle on the analytical balance. Record the weight in your laboratory notebook. Place your plastic bottle underneath the tip of your burette and release water to the 10.00 milliliter mark. Touch the tip of the burette to the inside walls of the plastic bottle. Record your initial and final burette readings in your laboratory notebook. Return to the analytical balance and weigh your plastic bottle with 10 milliliters of water added. Record this weight in your laboratory notebook. Record your final burette reading into your laboratory notebook. Place your plastic bottle underneath the tip of your burette. Open the valve on the burette and release water to the 20.00 milliliter mark. Record your final burette reading. Touch the tip of your burette to the inside walls of your plastic bottle. Weigh your bottle again with 20 milliliters of water added, and record the weight in your laboratory notebook. Repeat this process in 10 milliliter increments until you've dispensed the full 50 milliliters from your burette. Construct a calibration curve based on your data. Your calibration curve will give you an absolute error for your burette.